Imagine waking up each day knowing that you hold the power to transform your kidney health. No need to rely entirely on medications or invasive treatments. Instead, through natural remedies and lifestyle changes, you can take charge and lower your creatinine levels, giving your kidneys the support they need to function at their best. It's not just a dream, it's a real possibility. Empowering, isn't it? If your doctor has flagged your creatinine levels as high, you're not alone in feeling overwhelmed. Elevated creatinine is more than just a number on a lab report. It can be a warning sign that your kidneys aren't filtering waste as efficiently as they should. This can lead to a cascade of worries about the future. Will you need dialysis? Medications with side effects? Or, in the worst case, kidney failure? The uncertainty can create a lot of anxiety, but the good news is that there are proactive steps you can take. What if there was a way to naturally improve kidney function and lower those troubling creatinine levels? The answer lies in simple, yet powerful, lifestyle adjustments that can protect your kidneys without harsh interventions. Today, I'm going to share with you scientifically backed strategies that could help you regain control of your kidney health, giving you peace of mind and a roadmap to a healthier future. Understanding Cretinine Levels Before we jump into the solutions, let's break down what cretinine actually is, how it affects your body, and why high levels are something you shouldn't ignore. What is cretinine? Cretinine is a waste product formed by the normal wear and tear of muscle tissue. Every time your muscles use energy, cretinine is released into the bloodstream as a byproduct. Your body produces it constantly, and the kidneys play the vital role of filtering it out and flushing it away through your urine. How Kidneys Filter Cretinine Think of your kidneys as your body's waste management system. Under normal circumstances, they work around the clock, filtering out waste like cretinine along with excess fluids and toxins. When your kidneys are functioning well, cretinine is removed efficiently and your blood levels stay within a healthy range. However, when the kidneys start to struggle, whether due to chronic kidney disease, CKD, an acute kidney injury, or other conditions, they become less effective at filtering out waste. This causes cretinine to accumulate in your blood, which is a strong indicator that your kidney function may be declining. High cretinine levels. Rising cretinine levels can be one of the first indications that your kidneys are under strain. It's a sign that they're not able to keep up with the body's demands for filtration. Cretinine levels can be influenced by a range of factors, from dehydration to a high protein diet. However, consistently elevated levels are often associated with more serious underlying kidney issues, and this is why it's crucial to monitor them closely. Having high cretinine doesn't necessarily mean you're headed straight for dialysis, but it does mean your kidneys need support. The earlier you take action, the better your chances are of avoiding further complications. Factors affecting cretinine levels Now let's talk about what can impact cretinine levels. Understanding these factors can help you make the right adjustments to lower them naturally. Diet One of the biggest culprits is diet, particularly how much protein you consume. Protein-rich foods, especially red meat, break down into cretinine as your body processes them. When you cut down on protein, you can reduce the workload on your kidneys and prevent cretinine levels from rising. Medications some medications, like certain antibiotics, diuretics, and blood pressure drugs, can cause cretinine levels to spike temporarily. Always discuss with your doctor if you notice changes in your levels after starting new medications, as they may need adjustment. Kidney function. Naturally, the health of your kidneys is a critical factor. If they are damaged or under strain from conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or dehydration, cretinine levels can increase. By addressing these underlying issues, you can often bring your cretinine levels back to normal. Other factors. Beyond diet and kidney function, things like dehydration, intense exercise, or even large muscle mass can contribute to higher cretinine levels. It's important to balance physical activity 
with proper hydration to help your kidneys function efficiently. Natural remedy for lowering creatinine levels. Looking for ways to naturally reduce creatinine levels. Here's a breakdown of effective strategies that can ease the load on your kidneys and help you manage creatinine levels more efficiently. Dietary changes. The food you consume plays a crucial role in how hard your kidneys have to work. Consuming a high-protein diet, particularly from animal sources like red meat, puts extra pressure on your kidneys because they need to work harder to filter out the waste products from protein metabolism, including creatinine. Let's go deeper into how dietary adjustments can help. Reducing protein intake. Reducing your intake of animal-based proteins such as red meat, processed meats, and even certain dairy products can lighten the workload on your kidneys. These foods are metabolized into waste products that the kidneys must filter, including creatinine. By cutting back on red meat and replacing it with plant-based protein options like beans, lentils, and quinoa, you're not only helping your kidneys but also promoting better overall health. Plant-based proteins are much easier for your kidneys to process, and they generate fewer waste products. This shift can have a profound impact on lowering creatinine levels over time. Increase fruits and vegetables. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables is particularly beneficial for kidney health. Plant-based foods, especially those with high water content and anti-inflammatory properties, are easier for your kidneys to process. Let's explore some key fruits and vegetables that can help reduce strain on the kidneys and lower creatinine levels. Cucumbers. Hydration boost. Cucumbers are over 95% water, which makes them an excellent choice for keeping your body hydrated. Proper hydration is essential for kidney health because it allows the kidneys to effectively filter waste, including creatinine. By eating cucumbers regularly, you promote urination, which helps in flushing out toxins more efficiently. Detoxification. Cucumbers also contain compounds that support detoxification, helping the body remove harmful substances more easily. When your body is detoxified, the kidneys don't have to work as hard, which can help in reducing creatinine levels. Radishes. Anti-inflammatory properties. Radishes are packed with antioxidants, particularly vitamin C, which is known for its anti-inflammatory effects. Inflammation can damage kidney cells over time, making it harder for them to filter waste. By including radishes in your diet, you help reduce inflammation and protect kidney function. Diuretic effects. Radishes also act as a natural diuretic, which means they help the body get rid of excess water and toxins, including creatinine, through urination. This can alleviate the pressure on the kidneys and improve their ability to filter waste more effectively. Kidney-friendly. What makes radishes particularly suitable for people with kidney concerns is that they are low in potassium and phosphorus, two minerals that can be problematic for individuals with kidney disease. Eating radishes ensures you're getting the benefits without overloading your kidneys. Cherries. Rich in antioxidants. Cherries are loaded with antioxidants called anthocyanins, which help protect your kidneys from oxidative damage. This is particularly important because oxidative stress can accelerate kidney damage, making it harder for them to filter creatinine and other waste products. Inflammation reduction. The anti-inflammatory properties of cherries can also support kidney health. Chronic inflammation is often associated with high creatinine levels and reduced kidney function. By incorporating cherries into your diet, you help mitigate this inflammation, allowing your kidneys to function better. Improving kidney function. Cherries can also help reduce uric acid levels in the blood, another waste product that puts extra pressure on the kidneys. By lowering uric acid, cherries not only protect against gout, but also improve kidney efficiency, which can lead to a reduction in creatinine levels. Hydration. When it comes to kidney health, maintaining proper hydration is one of the simplest yet most effective strategies. It's not just about drinking water, it's about finding the right balance that supports your kidneys in functioning optimally. 
adequate water intake, flushing out toxins. Drinking enough water is essential for the kidneys to efficiently filter out waste products, including cretinine. When you stay well hydrated, your kidneys can flush out excess cretinine and other toxins more easily through urination. This is particularly important for individuals with elevated cretinine levels or those at risk of kidney disease. Recommended amount. The general recommendation is to aim for around 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. However, this amount can vary based on factors such as age, activity level, climate, and overall health. For instance, if you're active or live in a hot climate, you might need more fluids to stay adequately hydrated. On the other hand, individuals with certain medical conditions may need to adjust their fluid intake under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Signs of dehydration It's important to recognize the signs of dehydration which can include dry mouth, fatigue, dizziness, and dark colored urine. Monitoring your hydration status can help you stay on top of your kidney health. A good rule of thumb is that your urine should be light yellow. Dark urine typically indicates dehydration. Avoiding overhydration. The dangers of excess water. While staying hydrated is crucial, it's equally important to avoid overhydration which can lead to a condition called hyponatremia. This occurs when the sodium levels in your blood become dangerously low due to excessive water intake. Low sodium levels can disrupt the balance of fluids in your body and may lead to symptoms like headaches, confusion, and even seizures in severe cases. Kidney strain from overhydration. Drinking too much water can also place unnecessary pressure on your kidneys. Your kidneys are responsible for filtering and regulating the body's fluid balance. If you overwhelm them with excessive water, they have to work harder to excrete the excess, which can be counterproductive, especially for individuals already facing kidney issues. Listen to your body. A personalized approach to hydration is key. Pay attention to your body's signals and adjust your water intake based on factors such as thirst, physical activity, and climate conditions. It's also wise to consult with a healthcare provider if you have underlying health conditions, as they may provide specific hydration recommendations tailored to your needs. Incorporating hydration into daily life. Setting hydration goals. Establishing hydration goals can be a great way to ensure you're drinking enough water throughout the day. Consider using a reusable water bottle marked with time goals to help you track your intake. Infuse your water. If plain water feels boring, try infusing it with slices of fruit, such as lemon, cucumber, or berries. This not only enhances the flavor, but also provides additional vitamins and antioxidants that can support overall health. Foods for hydration. Remember that hydration doesn't solely come from drinking water. Many fruits and vegetables, like watermelon, oranges, cucumbers, and lettuce, have high water content and can contribute to your overall fluid intake. Including these foods in your diet can help you stay hydrated while providing essential nutrients. Electrolyte balance. For those who engage in intense exercise or live in hot climates, considering an electrolyte balance is crucial. Drinking water is great but sometimes your body needs more than just water. It needs electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium, which help regulate fluid balance and muscle function. Look for low-sugar electrolyte drinks or consider natural sources like coconut water. Herbal remedies. Exploring the world of herbal remedies can unveil powerful allies in your quest for better kidney health. Certain herbs have been studied for their potential to support kidney function and help naturally lower cretinine levels. Let's take a closer look at a couple of these herbs and how they can contribute to your overall wellness. Dandelion root. Diuretic properties. Dandelion root is renowned for its natural diuretic effects, which means it encourages increased urine production. This can be particularly beneficial for the kidneys as it helps to flush out toxins and excess cretinine from the body. By promoting urination, dandelion root aids in the removal of waste products, 
potentially lowering the burden on your kidneys. Nutritional Benefits In addition to its diuretic properties, dandelion root is rich in vitamins and minerals, including potassium, calcium, and vitamin C. Potassium, in particular, plays a vital role in maintaining fluid balance and normal kidney function. The antioxidants found in dandelion can help protect the kidneys from oxidative stress, which is crucial for preventing further damage. How to use Dandelion root can be consumed in various forms, including teas, tinctures, and capsules. Dandelion tea is a popular choice and can be made by steeping dried dandelion root in hot water for several minutes. If you opt for supplements, be sure to follow the recommended dosage and consult your healthcare provider beforehand, especially if you are on medications, as dandelion may interact with certain drugs. Nettle leaf Anti-inflammatory properties Nettle leaf is another herb celebrated for its ability to support kidney health. It contains compounds with strong anti-inflammatory effects, which can be beneficial for individuals experiencing kidney issues. By reducing inflammation, nettle leaf may help improve kidney function and overall health. Supporting kidney function Some studies suggest that nettle leaf can assist in lowering creatinine levels, possibly by enhancing renal function. The presence of bioactive compounds, such as flavonoids and phenolic acids, contributes to its health-promoting effects. These compounds not only support kidney health, but also help maintain overall urinary tract health, making nettle a great addition to your herbal arsenal. How to use Nettle leaf can be enjoyed as a tea, which is made by steeping dried leaves in hot water, similar to dandelion tea. You can also find nettle in capsule form or as a liquid extract. Again, it's essential to discuss with your healthcare provider before starting any new herbal supplements to ensure they align with your health needs and don't interact with existing medications. Both of these herbs can be consumed as teas or in supplement form, but it's always a good idea to consult your healthcare provider before adding any new supplements to your routine. Supplements Incorporating the right supplements into your diet can significantly enhance your efforts to manage creatinine levels and support kidney health. While a balanced diet is essential, certain supplements can provide additional benefits that may help protect and optimize kidney function. Let's delve into a couple of these supplements and how they can contribute to your overall health. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Anti-Inflammatory Properties Omega-3 Fatty Acids are renowned for their powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Found primarily in fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, as well as in flax seeds and walnuts, omega-3s can help reduce systemic inflammation throughout the body. For individuals with kidney issues, managing inflammation is crucial, as it can alleviate the strain on the kidneys and support their overall function. Kidney Health Benefits Several studies have indicated that omega-3 fatty acids may help lower levels of protein in the urine, a common sign of kidney damage. By reducing proteinuria, omega-3s can aid in slowing the progression of kidney disease and improving overall kidney health. Additionally, they may help regulate blood pressure and improve circulation, which is beneficial for maintaining healthy kidneys. How to incorporate omega-3s to boost your intake of omega-3 fatty acids, aim for at least two servings of fatty fish per week. If you prefer plant-based sources, consider adding flax seeds or chia seeds to your smoothies or salads. Omega-3 supplements, such as fish oil or algae oil capsules, are also available for those who may not consume enough omega-3s through their diet. As with any supplement, consult your healthcare provider for personalized recommendations particularly regarding dosage and potential interactions with medications. B vitamins. Role in energy metabolism. B complex vitamins, particularly B6, pyridoxin, and B12, cobalamin, play crucial roles in energy metabolism and the overall functioning of the body. These vitamins are essential for converting food into energy, 
and for the production of red blood cells. They also contribute to the synthesis of neurotransmitters, supporting brain health, supporting kidney function. B vitamins are important for reducing the production of waste products that the kidneys need to filter. For instance, vitamin B6 is involved in amino acid metabolism, which can help minimize the buildup of harmful substances in the body. Vitamin B12 is essential for nerve function and red blood cell production, and maintaining adequate levels can support kidney health by preventing complications related to anemia, which is often associated with chronic kidney disease. How to incorporate B vitamins? You can obtain B vitamins from a variety of foods, including whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, eggs, dairy products, and leafy green vegetables. For those who may be deficient or have increased needs, such as individuals with kidney disease or those on certain medications, B-complex supplements are available. Again, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement, especially to determine the appropriate dosage. Physical activity. Regular exercise is not just about staying fit. It's a fundamental aspect of maintaining healthy kidneys and overall well-being. Engaging in physical activity has numerous benefits that go beyond weight management and muscle tone. Exercise recommendations. Types of activities. Gentle, low-impact exercises like walking, cycling, or yoga can significantly improve blood circulation, which is vital for kidney function. These activities enhance oxygen delivery to your organs and tissues, supporting metabolic processes and waste removal. Low-impact exercises are less taxing on the body and can be sustained over longer periods, making them ideal for individuals looking to maintain kidney health. Duration and frequency. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activity on most days of the week. This can be broken down into shorter sessions if needed, like three 10-minute walks throughout the day. Regular movement helps regulate blood pressure, improve insulin sensitivity, and reduce the risk of chronic diseases, all of which are crucial for protecting your kidneys. Avoid high-intensity workouts. While exercise is essential, it's important to avoid high-intensity workouts, especially if you have existing kidney issues. Intense exercise can lead to temporary muscle breakdown, which may increase creatinine levels in the bloodstream. Instead, focus on steady, moderate activities that promote cardiovascular health without putting undue stress on your body. Incorporating flexibility and strength training. In addition to cardiovascular activities, consider incorporating flexibility and strength training exercises into your routine. Activities like yoga and pilates improve flexibility and core strength, enhancing overall body function. Light resistance training can help maintain muscle mass and strength, which is important for metabolic health, particularly as we age. Avoiding toxins. In addition to regular physical activity, minimizing exposure to toxins is crucial for protecting your kidneys over time. Various substances can contribute to kidney damage and should be avoided whenever possible. Tobacco and alcohol. Harmful effects. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption are two of the most significant contributors to kidney damage. Tobacco use causes oxidative stress, reducing blood flow and nutrient delivery to the kidneys. Similarly, heavy drinking can lead to inflammation and dehydration, which compromise kidney function. Long-term consequences. Over time, the cumulative effects of smoking and alcohol can lead to chronic kidney disease, CKT, and increase the risk of kidney failure. Furthermore, these habits can exacerbate other health conditions, such as hypertension and diabetes, which are major risk factors for kidney disease. Strategies for quitting. Seeking support. If you're struggling to quit smoking or reduce alcohol intake, Numerous resources and support groups are available to help. Consider joining a local or online support group where you can connect with others facing similar challenges. Gradual reduction. 
Gradual reduction strategies can be effective for quitting smoking or limiting alcohol intake. Instead of going cold turkey, set achievable goals, like reducing your daily cigarette consumption or limiting drinks to specific days of the week. This approach can make the process less overwhelming and more manageable. Setting goals. Establish clear, measurable goals for yourself, whether it's cutting back on smoking or limiting alcohol to a certain number of drinks per week. Keep track of your progress to stay motivated and hold yourself accountable. Consulting healthcare professionals. Don't hesitate to seek help from healthcare professionals, such as doctors or counselors specializing in addiction and recovery. They can provide personalized strategies, medications to ease withdrawal symptoms, and guidance tailored to your specific needs. Conclusion To wrap things up, lowering creatinine levels naturally involves a multifaceted approach. Make dietary changes by reducing protein and increasing fruits and veggies like cucumbers, radishes, and cherries. Stay hydrated without overloading on water. Try herbal remedies like dandelion root and nettle leaf to support kidney function. Incorporate supplements like omega-3 fatty acids and B vitamins. Stay active with gentle exercise to improve kidney health. Finally, reduce or eliminate toxins such as tobacco and alcohol from your lifestyle. Your kidneys work hard for you, so why not return the favor? Start incorporating these natural remedies into your daily routine today and give your kidneys the support they need to thrive. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips on improving your health naturally.